I met Tony Lefetra in 1959 when we were both pledged to the same fraternity at Stanford, along with Art Ludwig. Tony and I were roommates for two years and double dated often and climbed Mount Whitney with our future brides. We were best men at each other's wedding. We shared a love for fly fishing and went fishing together numerous times over the years, along with dinners and visits back and forth at our homes. Tony was a wonderful friend, confidant, and mentor. At college, Tony studied hard. Few were as diligent. He had his future wife type his college notes, since he had a tough time reading them himself. Handwriting was not his fort. I think he knew that his college and business school education would be the foundation for a future leading the company his parents had founded, and he wanted that foundation to be the very best. Humor was perhaps our strongest bond, and Tony saw the incongruities of life clearly and had a great sense of humor, often willing to poke fun at himself. Some of our best times were reminiscing together, goading each other on and on, and laughing about experiences and old times. Once during school, we shared an apartment created from a two-car garage and an upper study room in a modest private home near Stamford, separated from the rest of the home with a plywood panel in the stairwell. I often studied late, and Tony, in a high falsetto, would call up the stairwell asking if I was coming to bed. Our landlord evicted us because of all the girls night after night. <laughs> Following college and after two years of Army active duty, Tony hired me as the manager of Rainbird's 30-employee controller and electric valve manufacturing plant. Majoring in manufacturing management at business school, it was my dream job. Work at Rainbird layered neatly on top of our strong friendship. All who worked with him at Rainbird recognized his dedication to growing the company. Tony consistently focused on doing what he thought best for growing the company long term, succeeding wonderfully in that regard. He set high goals for himself and his staff and his excellent insight into people, people's character, abilities, and potential resulted in Rainbird being staffed with a very able, excellent set of workforce. The quality of my coworkers has been a source of great satisfaction to me over my time at the company. Tony was generous in the giving of his time and his resources to worthwhile causes, which is so broadly known. On a personal level, I once had a rough time with a real estate investment, and who but Tony offered me a loan when no one else at the time would have remotely considered it. I left Rainbird for 17 years mid-career but when Tony heard that my employer had been sold and that I was looking, he invited me back at age 63, and I've been back ever since. Tony set aside the differences which, we'd, which had occurred years before and welcomed me back. I am most grateful that he did. Words fall short of adequately summarizing my six decade-long relationship with him. He was the brightest and most able business leader I have known and one of my finest friends. I do miss him.